Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. And in just a couple of days, we have our first dungeon ranking event. And with the live stream that dropped this morning, we have enough details now to begin preparing for this event. So I want to walk you through what I'm doing to prepare my current team for this event and what I think is going to happen with the release of Young Sephiroth at about the exact same time, something Gacha Games really love to do. Now, before I get into that, I'm going to jump over to a website here. This website is called Everything Crisis. I will link this in the description. But here's a little bit of translation from the JP livestream this morning. Um, the event that's coming, the dungeon ranking event that we're talking about today, there is going to be some elemental weaknesses that you're going to want to take advantage of in this ice and fire note that it's not thunder i actually predicted myself that thunder would be a weakness here since thunder has been so prevalent in the game and it's something a lot of people have been building i thought they would lean into that a little bit for our first event but no that's not the case it's going to be ice and fire which means i have some work to do on my account to get my current team ready for an ice and fire weakness event they also say there's going to be three different difficulties for the event we're going to be grouped into groups of 10 thousand that i don't love i was really hoping for smaller groups like maybe groups of a thousand or groups of a hundred was a little bit of a, a wish but ten thousand's a lot of people the top 10 players in the group will get an event banner and 20 gotcha tickets the top 100 players will be get a title plate and 20 gotcha tickets so finishing top 10 and top 100 is going to be a big deal and in a group of ten thousand, finishing top 100 means you're gonna have to have prepped a little bit or spent some money to achieve that it's not impossible though and as somebody who's a pretty casual player and light spender in this game i am planning to aim for top 100 in the group of 10,000 i'm put in so that's why i'm making this video i'm gonna kind of tell you how i'm doing that now first place gets 3400 blue crystals yeah no i'm not aiming for first place maybe i'll get put in a group with 9999 people who just like quit playing the game uh otherwise i'm probably not getting first place my account is just not there but we'll all get some kind of prize even if we finish rank 101 or lower the things i want to focus on here are two there is weak to ice and fire this is going to be a big focus and the fact that we're getting young sephiroth and like there's probably a picture i don't know if there's picture on here or not but we're getting young sephiroth as well so i'm going to talk about that in fact let's start there let's start with talking about young sephiroth here's my predictions for his first banner and how that's going to affect this event a lot of times gotcha games like to release an event and release a new character or something new in the gotcha along with that event that is a score multiplier i predict that will happen here they want to encourage people to pull for the new character, although I doubt that you're going to have to encourage people very much to pull for young Sephiroth, as this is like our first game ever that we've been able to like play this guy. So you're not going to require a ton of encouragement for people to pull him, but I wouldn't be surprised at all if his weapons that were featured on his first banner were ice or fire some way of taking advantage of the elemental weakness of this event so that will encourage people not only to hit his banner because we're all going to get the character right but who knows what his weapons are really going to look like and i bet you we have to hit the banner to get a nice like five star weapon for him that is perfect for the event and that's probably going to be one of the keys to getting at that like top 100 score if that's something you're going for but we won't know exactly how that's going to work until the event drops so let's talk about what we can do with what we currently have. Now, ice and fire are not exactly the most prevalent weapon types we have in the game. So I'm gonna jump into my enhance screen right here and I'm gonna look at my weapons and you can sort these by those elements. So if we look at like fire weapons, for example, this is it. This is all I currently have on my account for fire weapons. And you can see I have no five stars and there are these um, summon battles you could do, right? You can battle the summons to farm out like your Ifrit sword. So there are options in there. We'll look at those a little bit but overall i kind of have no weapon that i'm personally currently using that um on a character that i'm currently using that would be good for fire so i'm gonna have to go the materia route for that then if we sort by ice like let's get off fire and sort by ice once again i'm not looking real good right here sure like you do have an option for matt absolute royal but you can see i only have this at three star so this is not something i've gotten really lucky with otherwise i would probably focus in on leveling this for matt so if you were like me 
and your weapon selection for the elements of fire and ice are kind of lacking, you are counting on Sephiroth to help carry your team. Well, you also are going to need your other characters to have that. So the easiest ways to get access to those elements are definitely going to be through materia synthesis. I think this is a very good time. And you can see right here, I have fire blow as the only thing that I'm working on right now to be synthesizing not only these materials and let's come on, hit me with a good three star. Come on game. Come on game. Hit me with a good three star right here. It's not bad. This one's probably worth leveling. I'm going to try to level this one a little bit, but I think it's also a good time to be synthesizing your like fire, whether you have magic characters until you want like the magic fire attack or physical characters and you want the fire blow. I think it's a great time to be using your materials like this right here. Go ahead and lean into these a little bit, increase your chances, but it's also probably a good time. It's our first time that you've had a real reason to sit here and spam these tickets a little bit, like get yourself some more summons, try to luck into maybe a four or five star fire blow or ice blow or fire or blizzard or something like that. So that's something I'm going to be doing. I'm going to come back here in a minute, reset all these, and I will probably spend a lot of my remaining 125 tickets trying to get lucky, get a really good couple of materials to equip my teams out with. Now I am very physical heavy right now with cloud and Tifa probably being my strongest two characters. I'm going to bring some combination of them or Cloud and Matt into the game. So I'll look for physical ones. That's how I'm planning it. Then I'm going to make sure I bring weapons or skills that can debuff the enemy's physical defense so I can, you know, do a little bit more damage with my fire blow, ice blow materia. Otherwise, there is another route for getting access to these weapons, but your account needs to be in a pretty good place. If you go to solo content, you can farm these summon quests like I was talking about a minute ago. And if we look at, like, let's say you look at Ifrit's quest right here, right? If you have a team with 107 power or a little bit less than that, you want to play manually, make your team work a little bit better, and you're using Zack, well, you can start farming out Ifrit's sword right here, which will give you access to fire a surge, a weapon. So Zack, like Zack would be a good option for a fire attack if you don't want to go the materia route. Again, the problem here is you're going to have to farm a quest with a recommended power level of 107,000. There's a lot of people who've picked this game up in just the last couple of weeks or are more casual players like me. I could clear 107 power quest, but I would have to like play the game to do it. And I've been saving some materials and I'll talk about why here in a minute, but you can see the rewards for this right here, right? Are if you can get that S rank, you're going to pick up a copy of his sword. This is a really good option. I think this is a really good option. Something people should be taking advantage of. You also have Glenn has one on here as well. So if you're using him for ice, you have the Shiva weapons, which is a harder one to farm. Again, that recommended power of 133 is pretty high, but Cloud and Barrett, two very popular characters that give you access to ice elements weapons right there. So good options there for farming out elemental weapons of that type. Now, when I'm talking about saving materials, I have been saving materials. My power has not increased in this game for a while because instead of leveling weapons, I've been sitting on mats because I've anticipated that we were going to be getting um, a new unit. In this case, it's young Sephiroth and that character being important for this event. In that case, I'm going to need a lot of potions. I'm going to need a lot of weapon leveling, weapon unlocking materials. So if I, as soon as I get my young Sephiroth, we don't have to pull for him. We'll just get him for free, but I'm going to end up pulling a bunch of his weapons. I'm going to have to level at least two of those. So make sure you have materials to level up at least two weapons for the new character. If they do the thing I'm anticipating, which is making the new character, some kind of score multiplier for the event. Remember, it's not if you can clear the event, it's the points you're going to earn and probably the points you earn on the hardest difficulty. So you're going to need to uh, have them to have the energy pots to probably level your Sephiroth up to 50, have the, you know, character node and, you know, the growth enhancing materials here to do his whole skill tree, which this might involve buying some packs, right? This is where I think money could come in. If you don't have a bunch of Sephiroth memories, you might need to pick some up with money. There's a spending option for some of the more dolphin or whaley people out there. That's what I'm planning to do a little bit. And then you're going to need to be able to level up at least two of his weapons. You can sub slot some of your other weapons, but that's kind of my thing right there. Now we'll know more about Sephiroth at some point soon, but I just wanted to run you guys through kind of what I'm doing, how I'm prepping for this event and uh, just say good luck, have fun. This is gonna be really cool. This is a busy week, man. With War of the Visions having the Final Fantasy VIII collaboration and us getting our first trial event here in Ever Crisis. Oh my goodness, what a week for gaming on this channel. 
Uh, if you guys have any other tips that you'd like to leave in the comment section, it's very possible that you guys have some ideas that I don't. I would love to also share those with the community, so drop them in the comments. I might pin them to the top comment if I think they're really good. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Have a great day. Peace.